We're going hopping, hop, we're going hopping today. When things are popping, pop, a Philadelphia way. We're going to drop and drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. You don't get a. Let me explain. <laughs> enough, enough already. Let me explain the significance of that. You don't get a standing ovation here very often because everybody's usually standing. That took a lot of effort for these people to get up off the ground. You are something very special. Uh, did you have any idea when you were a kid you would end up doing this for a living? No idea at all, Dick. I'd always watch this show, you know, and hope. When you were a little boy. When I was a little boy, right? Oh. Yeah. How many generations of singers have been in your family? There's been two generations of singers that ran through my family, and um, they were all great singers, and I, hopefully I'm uh, continuing with that trademark. Well, the platinum album the first time, does that scare you that you might find it a little hard to follow up? No, I'm not afraid of it. Um, I'm just going to go in the next time in the studio with the same strategy that I went in the last time and with a little hope and a little prayer and faith. Um, hopefully the next one will go double platinum or as big as this one. I have one personal question to ask you. It probably won't mean much to a lot of the younger people in the audience, but you did a Billie Holiday song in the album. Why? Because she was there before you were born. Yes, that's true. Uh, Billie Holiday was a very special song uh, in my family, so I dedicated it to my mother, as a matter of fact, because it was a very special song for her. So uh, it was Melba Moore's idea that I put it on the album, and um, that's how it came about. It's going to be a great career for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Will you come back again? Oh, I sure will. Thank you very much. Mr. Freddie Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Come with me, my friend. Here's Corey Hart.